Hello YouTube and welcome to this episode, this installment of Metal Mark the Boss Twitching. Yeah. Or what I like to call the problematic over dramatic gamer for all the anime freaks out there. Okay, so I last left off in the beginning with me trying to take a base that I was unable to. I turned around was making up another video of me trying it again. And my broadcast kicked out, so I made a short like half hour video of me trying to kill the base but not fully taking it. Then I came back in, I died. Oh, I know, naturally. Then I realized it's almost like an endless spawn until you blow up the, uh, the shack with them um, creepy crawler like super machines almost looking like the Edge of Tomorrow, which my album's going to be. Drowning in tomorrow. <laughs> you got to be extra like long on it. Drowning in tomorrow. So yeah. So it looked like you know the creatures from that movie. And uh, yeah. So I blew up the shack. They came in and helped. Victory, victory, victory. If you watched the last one. Then I started running. Running, running, and running. I felt like running like some Forrest Gump and uh, I fast traveled as far as I could but then I had to run the rest away. I got to this another huge base, had to conquer this base, not part of like a you know the story mode like the other event was. It was more like an event. This one was more like just a big base. Uh, I picked up this big heavy cannon and walking around with it and I ran out of time on my uh my video so I was like oh I gotta cut it here and keep going and I upgraded my character with two spots one to carry this faster and another one for something not really super important gonna help me right now but you gotta unlock them to get to the next one so alright here we go without further ado YouTube I can't run with it on though Outcast girl. So she survived her wounds. Can't walk my way out of here. Or can I? Nice. Easier when I was a kid. That's right, heavy artillery, baby. Heavy. It's hard, too. It's the reason why I think they're giving you all this stuff is because you're about to have a big fight. That's why I'm like, no, 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 I'm taking this gun with me. Here we go. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja fort?
That's right, I adapt. Freeze coil and want that. The sun risking its ass down here. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her! Open the gates! And send word to Captain Balon. Where are you headed, girl? West! To Meridian! The way of broken stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. you're talking about trouble in the new clans. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. I guess you didn't find them up there? Not with the Banuke wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. Uh, we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. Actually, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. What is this place, the cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuke land, they left the cut behind. So a battleground from the war, like the valley outside the sacred land. Mm-hmm. Mountain pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome, especially not now. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. 
There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. Been here three times this week, still can't find my wife. Captain Blanc, I have questions for you. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused an incident. As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads, they're safe enough. Now after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Waleed, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly, but he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. What is this place, exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karger at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vod wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... All your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean. What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azeram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. So the Karja are allied with the Osram? Hard to believe, but it's true. 
Mad Sun King Jiran raided the Azaram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram's siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Jiran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Waleed. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. Any word about our miss? I'm still working. It sounds as though... He is the chosen of the Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. I need to go. Let me know if there's any new... among the piles of scrap in the old ones.
Just trying to think if, you know, I should lace it up with what I got. Guess they can't use freeze. I'm going to wait on using that so I get some better mods for that. The longer this split with the Shadow Karja lasts, the more prices will go up. Alright, where are we going now? Take over my brother's shift today. Sure as the sun's rising, he's recording that noble river. The snow's got a bite out here. I'm busy, Nora. If you need something, speak to Captain Balan in the parapet by the market building. Fast travel. Move it. Save it real quick. Yeah. 
You there! Lubavad sent me after you. Oh, I see. Ridgewood instead of decent ammunition? Three waves of watchers and scrappers so far. And worse to come. Without that ammo, we're good as dead. Lubavad didn't say anything about Ridgewood. He said you left the ammunition behind. Then the old fool has gone cross-eyed. Every crate we loaded, I checked twice. The glyph said ammunition, but when we opened it, it was full of Ridgewood shafts and nothing but. Lubavad sent me because he was concerned for your safety. The only thing that frightens Lubavad is losing an investment. We do the work, he counts profits. I have the ammunition with me. Enough for everyone. By the sun. We might just stand a chance after all. Alarms! Log leg approaching! Two arms! Two arms! <laughs> You fight well, Outlander. I'm surprised Lubavard was willing to pay for someone of your skill. He didn't pay me, actually. I did this for free. Never trust the Karja merchant. Boss! The song cores are gone! What? That's impossible. Unless... Unless Dereed took them. When the first wave hit us, one of the men ran off. Dereed. I thought he was a coward. Turns out he's a thief, too. He couldn't have gotten far. True, but we're in no shape to go after him. Then I'll get him for you. But this time, I get paid. Quick learner, eh? Fine. Bring those Songkors back and you've got a deal. Saving these for the trail? Tuck that away.
Hello, Dorit. Who are you? The caravan sent me. Caravan? What caravan? The one who has met no survivors, no witnesses to your crime. Look, stranger, I have debts. If I don't pay, the dicers will gouge out my eyes. Caravan. Did they live? Yes. I got to them in time. Thank you. As I turn and embrace the sun, may he burn away my sins. What a waste. At least he died better than he lived. later. You're back. And with the Suncors, I see. 
And Dorid? A, uh, stalker got him. It wasn't pretty. And you beat a stalker. That's worth a bonus. Here, take my share. You've earned it. I'll see to the caravan from here. I think the rest of the trip will go smoother. I'd have to ditch something. Again. Mm. 
save them. Are you Salai? Jan said your niece may have come through here. Nicole. I I've got nothing to say about that. Please, I only want to help. I'm a seeker headed north. Jan wanted me to help find her. Anything you tell me stays between us. I... I gave her supplies for the journey. She was headed for Daytower looking for Zaid. Nothing I could say would stop her. <laughs> 